Afternoon, guys. I wanted to put this message out because of the timeliness of it. Kind of end to be on record, too. Um, but also, my whole gist of, 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 the, of my messages is a personal relationship with Jesus. Pretty cool. But the hour we're living in right now, this whole mess, because we've been, honestly, I'm just going to be blunt with you, we've got innocent blood on our hands, millions from the abortion issue. Look at my message from two years ago. That message took a year of prayer. I got, got it a year before. Put it out two years ago. Prayed about it a lot, guys. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm not going to agree with my opinion or think. Of. What I'm saying is the beauty of the cross. Is we all can have a personal advocate. We all can have a personal relationship with God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. And that's what it's about. So get it for yourself, guys. In prayer. Communication. So, out of Revelation 12. But, you know, this is not a political message. It's a time message. Everybody thought and wanted, at least in the Christian realm, a lot of them, it was Trump, 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 Trump. Trump's going to win the day. Sorry, Jesus is going to win the day. There's a reason why he didn't win, guys. Even though it was, you know, you know the mess that it was, the deceitful mess that it was. Sham, honestly. Democracy. Just mind-bending, really, is how they did it, more than anything. But... I'm just going to be point blank, guys. We're under like one of the worst administrations we've been under in a long time. And for abortion, kill everybody, murder and mayhem. Look what they did in Afghanistan. Just pick one. Then why is this doctor still in charge? Everything from just the, the bold faced lies to look what he did to innocent, you know, innocent dogs. You think he cares about your life? You know, no, you don't hear any of that. You hear very little of it, and it's buried. It's gone. It's just, it didn't even exist. So everything from a Christian standpoint, because that's where I'm coming from, Christian standpoint, looks bleak. Worst case scenario, evil everywhere, seemingly, in our, in our system. And everybody's like, oh, well, you know, Trump would have won, blah, 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 blah. God wants the glory, guys. Because this is about to be overturned. It may be this week. Which would be really cool if it was like, say it was December 7th. Oh, what is December 7th? The anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Roosevelt said called it a day of infamy. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Of course. But it's coming. It may may and may not be this week. It's heading there, though, real fast. The decision for Roe versus Wade is going to get overturned. Under the current administration, it is so for it. They're not just shoving it down our throat. They're bulldozing it down our throat. And you get buried alive if you don't comply. Mandates vaccines, whatever. Pick one. But this is what happened is happening, guys. It's a, it's a worldly saying, yes, but hear me out. They poked the bear. Don't wake up a sleeping dog or they might bite you. Well, they didn't poke the bear. I didn't wake up. It's out of Revelation 12. They poked the lion tribe of Judah, the body of Christ, the woman clothed with the sun and the moon and the stars. God himself is intervening in the angelic hosts from upon high. 
I'm going to say this, guys, and... Don't get me wrong, okay? I'm going to show this, and then I'll tell you the story. You can see that. That's my dad. He's long passed away 15 years ago. So I'm as patriotic as it come, because this was a brief part of his story. And it's, it's in one of my one of my messages about he wants his people tougher than hell. He was a good guy, guys. I was born and raised in Minnesota. Everybody up there is a Democrat. Look at how often they vote Democratic. Korea, young man, that's his picture. It was called Lamplighters. That was a squadron. They were in Japan. Day one of Korea. They flew in. Maybe not day one that they flew in there, but within a few days, it was the Pusan Valley. There was a bunch of Marines trapped there. And this was my day's story. He said he flew in there and he felt like every gun in the Chinese army was aimed at them. He didn't say North Korean. Chinese army. He was there, guys. And they would drop flares all night long because the Chinese, he had a friend that was in the Marines, and they didn't care about life, guys. They had 10, 12 feet of Constantine barbed wire around their compound, the Americans did. And the Chinese would just, and he said some of them didn't even have guns. His friend said some of them didn't even have guns. They didn't worry about if they are going to, Hit anybody they were worried about, they're gonna have enough ammunition because the bodies would just pile up to 10 feet high and then they just come right over the top of the wire or the dead bodies. He's talking about broom handles, sticks, no guns, human waves, death, and destruction. So imagine that. He was a Democrat. He was a good guy. He fought valiantly for what he believed in this country. So, guys, I'm, you know, it's near and dear to my heart. So, I'm not anti-America. But we haven't been a godly nation in a long time, guys. There's a lot of godly people that live here, but it is, man, it's been booted out. It's been booted out of our schools, court systems, everything. You don't believe me? Grab your Bible, go down to your local schoolhouse, and see if you can walk the halls and preach the gospel. Go down to the courthouse and see how long you can tell us, proclaim the name of Jesus without the sheriff on your butt. Try in California, you won't even make it down the street. <clears throat> okay? They poked the lion of the tribe of Judah. That would be us guys. Prayer is going to change things. I'm going to end with this. Sort of. Um, I may have some other stories in here. Let me just I'm still praying about it as we speak. And been praying about it. But <laughs> that's that woman clothed with the sun and the moon and stars. That's us guys and God's on our behalf. The world has Jesus and the cross is a perfect example, guys. The enemy played his hand. Everything he could, crowd yelling at him, destroy him, crucify him. Even people in the world like Pilate, Pontius Pilate didn't understand what do you, you know, why do you guys want to kill this guy? Why do you want to crucify him? Okay, I'm washing my hands of it. He didn't understand it. The enemy had a plan. God's plans are always bigger. It's hard to tell you that. And better. It's just time, guys. But this is what I want to end with. And I was in prayer. And look at some of my messages. I just haven't got to it. I haven't even put this one out yet. The exact part of it. But I put out the, about America's worshiping idols. How many idols we have. I was in prayer one day, guys. Right, right there. That chair back there. I don't know if you can see it. That's my prayer area. That's my prayer room. And... Lord spoke to me and said, America has more idols than India. So abortion is just one of them. The dollar is another one of them. Guys, it's all about the money. What do you think all this buffalo is over this vaccine? Money and power. I'm toying on my computer a little bit because I'm not sure what it's doing. 
seems like it's flashing, but sorry. But it's just time, guys. Isaiah 60, rise and shine, but the glory of the Lord is upon you. It's just time to rise and shine, guys. And he's going to get the glory, not, not man, but him. That's why I said that about Trump. And I, I said that earlier on about how, how he didn't, why he didn't win. You know why he didn't win, guys? Not just because of devious, nefarious stuff that went on. And most of it went on through the media and the hoopla and the, all the conglomerates, social media that they just lied and pulled stuff from us. Whether the, they went to the ballot box and did nefarious things, you know, maybe some, but you know, that's never been proven. And the main thing they did was the deceit of the lies of, of covering stuff up and not telling the truth. But the reason why, he, one of the reasons why he didn't win is because he wasn't ready yet, guys. Still has an attitude. God wants the glory, not no man. Same thing's happening and been happening in the church for a long time. <clears throat> Supposed church, honestly, I'll just call it that. Because someone could just take their signs down there. No more God than, than the devil, honestly. It's hard to tell you that. To be very prayerful and careful. Showed a post on there. I reposted this on there. A pair that was rotten, and it was right next to one that wasn't. And it, it the, the rot. You know, you know when you get grapes and stuff. If you don't pull out the rotten grapes, the other ones get rotten real quick. Salad, whatever. <clears throat> the poison spreads. Be very ca careful and cautious who we associate with. The time and hour that we're living in. But things are changing, guys. We think it's bad. Like I said, the cross. What happened at the cross? When the devil tried to kill Jesus. And, and I lost track. Got sidetracked a little bit there. Sorry. And death, hell, and the grave. It was no match. Took the keys. Death, hell, and the grave. Looked like the end. Finished. Oh, yeah, it was finished. That part, chapter of God's plan was finished. Salvation of mankind. Done. Put a stamp on it. Stamp of approval. It won a rubber stamp with a stamp covered under the blood of the Lamb. Come on, guys. It's just time. We want our land back. At least where we dwell. Like I said, it's being birthed in prayer. Because so man, no man gets the glory over this. That's part of the Antichrist, anyhow. Man made glory. God wants the glory, not man. He wants us to worship him in spirit and in truth. There's so much here, guys. Just pray, 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 pray. That's what I got to say. <clears throat> like my shirt. With an all armor of God. Anyhow. It's a personal relationship. It's being birthed in prayer. I will end with this because I, you know, I told you that about it's my dad, and you know, I can be as patriotic as they come because it's really near and dear to my heart because he's a good guy. I'm an old white guy, 60 years old, poster child for CNN for, I guess, racism. Raised Democratic, voted for Trump. But I didn't vote for him because he, I was his favorite fan. I voted for him because of his stance on abortion. That was one of the main reasons. <clears throat> when I got saved in 1980, guess where I landed, guys? I, almost seven years. An all-black church in North Dallas. And a million dollar, I was surrounded by million dollar houses and it was a poor black church. I mean, we need air conditioning. It's hot, Texas. No air. Seven years. I'm the only white guy in there. The walls were me and the walls. Seven years. I saw prejudice from both sides, guys. White and black. 
I'm just glad to be saved. Who am I to tell God where I'm going to, you know, how to do it? That's what I'm trying to say, too, honestly, is we've got to just turn it loose to God and let him have his way. He's got a will. He's got a way. We, a lot of times, have our own way and get in the way. And I just recently went through that battle myself, okay? Still in it, still reeling from it. The chastisement, the spanking from the Lord kind of hurts a lot. But His grace is also sufficient. I'm under a lot of grace right now, guys, if you only knew. So, we love you. Um, things are about to change. One of the idols is crumbling down, crashing in, burning as we speak. There's only one court. It's not the Supreme Court. It's his court. Enter into his gates and courts with praise and thanksgiving. It's one part of it, piece of it, but the real deal, guys, this blood curse that we've been under as a land is about to end. Maybe over right now as we speak, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to the news. It's moments away, days away maybe, weeks, maybe minutes. It's that we're on that path. I don't know the exact timing of it, but it's, it's, it's coming. Abortion, Roe versus Wade, all that garbage is going to go away. Because that's one of the idols, God stripping away the idols. The money, guess what? If we don't pray, the almighty dollar isn't going to be the almighty dollar anymore. It's going to crash and burn. Burn up like hay and stole. Why? Because he wants to get us to trust in him. Oh, yeah, I know you're going to think I'm, you know, nutty. And I get it. I just had to come get gas in the car before I got here. I got to pay for a car. I got to have money to pay for the light. The lights that are on. I get all that. But it also says, render unto Caesar what Caesar's and unto God what's God's. What the church did is they tried to hogwash it. Suppose a church, I'll call it that. I don't know, call it like it is. Spade, spade. Suppose a church. They want the 501c so badly, they'll compromise for it. What if you just paid your taxes and were through with it? What a concept, huh? Everybody else has to. I want a, you know, I'm, I want a decent police force and a decent military and a decent school education if we've got one left for our children. Grandchildren, we have to pay for it. Nothing wrong with that concept, but we have to pray. We have to pay for it, but we have to pray for it too. That the right people are in, in charge of this, so that the city will rejoice and not mourn. Right now, we've been a mourning nation because. We're, we're covered under the blood, all right, but it's the wrong blood. It's the blood of the innocent children that we just let go. Man, we know no better than that doctor that was in charge. You know his name. What he did to the to the beagles and just that was just animals. Yes, I get it. Um, but I love dogs. I got a great dog right now. But if you love dogs, you know what I'm talking about. But sanctity of life. I didn't care. We just winked at it. There's a few. Pastor, I don't want to name one of them. I don't know how long he's been doing it, but I know he's been probably in the trenches a long time. Pastor Ken Peters. One of my friends on Facebook. Look him up. Man, he's pretty powerful. He's been right there in the trenches. And there's others too, but they're few and far between. Unfortunately, and as a nation, we just look the other way. Oh, well, it's the law. No more. But one law is going to go away. Oh, and everybody's like, oh, they're still going to do it. And you're just, you know, all this crazy stuff again. 
I'm not buying it anyhow. Love you guys. Watch the crumbling of these mountains. Watch the crumbling of these mountains that we idolize. Sorry for no, I'm not trying to go through with the hand signals. I just watch the crumbling of these mountains that we've idolized and the pulling down of strongholds through prayer because they poked the line of Judah. Just like they poked a spear in Jesus' side and blood and water came out. And the enemy thought he had he had it won the day. He lost the day way before that, guys. Love you. Talk to you soon. Um, Roe versus Wade and this abortion curse that we've been under as a land is not just fading away. It's crumbling away as we speak. Love you guys.